somebody is checking out the new face. It's like, oh yay, a new barn. I, what I'm doing is doing some pasture cleanup and Lester's moving dirt and I thought I'll let them out, have them, let them have a little nibble, a little outing today. I did not mean for them to take that over. Whoopsie. Friends, today's the day. Today is the day that I take this camper that's been sitting here in the shop for the last six months and the we're gonna time move has it. Come the final curtain. You know about that song? Keep going. The end is near, isn't that how? I don't know. You don't know about that then? I don't know. You, you said friends, and I was like, friends, the time is near. Oh, you mean Lionel Richie? Well, my friends, the time has come to raise the roof and have some fun. Oh, oh, oh. throw away the work to be done. <laughs> everybody, hey oh, hey oh, hey oh. Everybody sings and everybody dance. Lose yourself in wild romance. We're gonna party, fiesta forever. Yeah, come on and sing along. Okay, so yes, we are moving the camper. Don't worry about all the smoke uh, that is surrounding the hill here. What I've got is a bunch of fires going. You know, I've got me some fires going today. And fire, fire's good, fire's good. All right. Folks, Lester here. And today is the day that we've been waiting for for so long. Uh, please do disregard all the smoke. I promise you we have things under control. Jamie is here and I do have permission to burn. No burn bands are in effect. And what I've done is I've lit all of my old hay, the rolls of hay that have been eaten down to the ground. And now the animals have pooped and peed all over. They've been sleeping on it and uh, they'll no longer eat it. So I like to wait until the spring or summer to burn that because it helps kind of get rid of all the insects that are bothering our babies. But Jamie's big event's coming up in a couple of days and I'm trying to get all the old nasty hay out of here in case people want to walk around and look this is kind of cute the goats are like terrified they're like oh no dad's burning dad's burning let's all stay here close to the water just in case but uh no we're gonna move that camper out of the garage here out of the shop and park it there in our special spot and then we have some uh, patio furniture we're gonna set out so i can't wait to show this off to you but uh, hey i'm not gonna get anything done if i stay here talking so let's go ahead and get to work all right, so I'm going to leave the pl uh, camper plugged in. I'm going to use the power source to retract all of the walls, those that walls that you know stick out, and then I will hook the tractor to the front, and we'll use the tractor to back it up over here. So this is how this works. It'll actually stop whenever it's at. This is how the steps go up. Some of you guys may already know this, and some of y'all may not even care. But uh, I think it's kind of neat. Okay. So now we have all of the walls pulled in. Everything is retracted, as they say. And at this point, I'm going to hook my tractor on. Then we will go ahead and pull the legs off the ground. Those are the stabilizing legs. One of the neatest things about this particular RV is it does have an auto leveling system. So whenever you get it set up, unlike the older RVs that have to go, go around and find the bubble on your level, uh, all of these, you just press the auto and it will level everything out for you. Right now, it is retracting all of the arms or the balancing legs. I don't think y'all know how nervous I am right now about this. I, I really am, I'm a nervous wreck. I know it has to be done. I just, uh... Guys, at this point, it is time to disconnect our power and we're gonna start moving.
I will say that was not easy. But, my friends, we are all set up. How great is this, huh? How great is, oh, look at even Fiona wants to go in and visit. She's like, I like this place. All right, let me go ahead and give you the grand tour right quick. Jamie just sprayed off the patio. We're gonna get some patio furniture we're gonna set up, but I gotta put it together. Not excited about that. Anyway, when we walk in, no, nah, we haven't cleaned, everybody, we haven't cleaned, so y'all just relax. But I got all the doors opened up. Yeah, all the lights are hooked up to it. And uh, this is the, uh, the old bunkhouse in here. Here's the bunkhouse. Got our bunkhouse. And the boys got a TV and their little stereo system. And uh, this is the living room area. This is where we do all of our lives from. Our little kitchen. Oh my goodness. And then of course, here's the room where all the magic happens. <laughs> No one cares about that, do you? No one cares about the magic happening here, do you? I didn't think so. Anyway, I'm so happy to have it sitting here. And we'll get in here and clean up after we find some time. But we've opened up all that space out of our shop now. And we're going to, like I said, put some patio furniture here. And we have a really, really nice setup, my friends. It's a really great setup. And I do believe that this RV will last us a, a lifetime. Sitting here, out of the weather, it will last us a lifetime. I hope so, because I do not want to move it again. I never want to move it again. Yeah, it has to last my, at least has to last my lifetime, because I never, ever want to move it again. All right, I am freezing cold. Y'all have to excuse, I have the shakes. Oh my gosh. Um, we have our shop back. You can see we have all of our things to be setting up for Jamie's big event coming up. And we have, uh, we're gonna have plenty of space inside the shop to do that, host that event now. As far as the camper goes, we, uh, we have it all set in place. I'm gonna put together some furniture tomorrow and I'll show you that in a future video. It's gonna look really pretty, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, we also have some lights that we were gifted from one of you. Thank you for that. They're the, like the little party streamer lights, and they connect, and they will, you know, tie in. We're going to go down the entire side and across all of the front, and that will give us enough lighting out here where we can kind of see. It'll still keep it, you know, the mood as far as not too bright, but just enough to be able to see when you walk out. Uh, so you don't trip over kittens. We have cats everywhere, y'all. There's cats everywhere. I swear, we're like crazy cat people. Anyway, look at Fiona watching the babies. She's such a good girl. She comes out. She likes to stand here because she can see the goats. She can see the uh, ostriches. She can see everything on this hill. Of course, all the cows and the other big birds right over there under that light. And this is where Fiona hangs out. <laughs> she just loves to take care of babies. She's so good. Anyway, thank y'all for being a part of this. I really love sharing things like this with you guys. And uh, you've been so kind to us and so patient. But uh, this is something I wanted to do for a long time. And it's really nice to be able to have the shop back. <laughs> really, why are you following me? Every step I take, you're right with me. All right, my friends, you guys have a wonderful evening. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't let your troubles fester Come watch Longhorn Lester <laughs> Yeah, something like that